1.4b, simplify algebraic expressions, asking is it a solution? An equation is made up of two equal expressions. A solution is the value of the variable or letter that makes the equation true or valid. In example one, we will be looking at this situation. Example one asks us, is x equals three the solution to negative two x plus seven equals one? Just as we did in the last video, in which we substituted a value, we will use that skill to determine if something is a solution. We start by making all of the variables into parentheses, and then we determine what goes in that parenthesis. Since x is three, we know that wherever there was an x, we should write the number three in that parenthesis. Now that there are no letters in the problem, we may now evaluate. Remember writing that PEMDAS will help ensure you do the order correctly. We look at each side of the equation independently, meaning we do one side at a time. We start by seeing if there are any operations inside of the parentheses, which there are not. There are also no exponents, which means we move on to the multiply step. There is a multiplication, so we start there. We have negative three, two times three, which results in a negative six. We then bring down all of the problem that has been yet to be solved. All the multiplication and divide has been completed. We now do any steps that include adding and subtracting. We have negative six plus seven. Remember when adding and subtracting Numbers, we always look at to see if the signs are same or different. These two have different signs, therefore we subtract, giving us one, and we keep the sign of the larger number, so our one is positive. We then bring down the other side of the equation. As you can see, the answer is one equals one. Since this is a true statement, we then would say yes, x equals three, is a solution because this statement was true. In example two, we evaluate another situation to see if the solution is correct. In this situation, we will have to do operations on both sides of the equal sign. Remember, we start by placing parentheses where all of the variables or letters are located. After doing so, we may now look at the key to see what that letter stood for. The letter X stood for the number negative three, and therefore we place a negative three in all of the parentheses that are X's. We now write down PEMDAS, and we can begin to solve the problem. Each side of an equation is independent of the other, meaning we must do each side on its own. We start by checking the list, and there are no operations inside of a parenthesis. There are no exponents, so we move to the multiply and divide. We can do the multiply on the first side, but we may also do the multiply on the second side at the same time due to the fact that they are independent of one another and they do not overlap. This results in a negative six minus five equaling a negative 21 plus five. At this point, all multiply and divide have been completed and we may now focus on add and subtract. Once again, since the two sides are separate, we may do the operation on each side, meaning we can do negative six minus five 
as well as negative 21 plus 5 at the same time because they are on opposite sides of an equal sign. Negative 6 minus 5 has the same signs, so we add the numbers together getting 11 and we keep the sign being negative. On the other side of the equal sign, the two signs are different, therefore we must subtract and this will result in the number 16, keeping the sign of the larger number 21, so the answer is negative. We now got an answer of negative 11 equals negative 16. This is not a true statement because negative 11 is not the same number as negative 16. So we would then put a slash through the equals to show that it does not equal and then we would follow this with no, x equals negative 3 is not a solution. When evaluating equations to determine if they are solutions, remember to place parentheses where the variables are and then insert the number that that variable is represented by. Then proceed to solve using the order of operations and remember that you may do operations on both sides of an equal sign as they are independent units.